Hello and welcome to this week's Faith and Friends. Today's show is all about food, healthy food ideas, fun dessert ideas, and a flashback to a cute segment featuring our kids. <laughs> Before we get into all the recipes, let's explore a scripture verse that also talks about foods. Genesis chapter 1, verses 29 and 30. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life, I have given every green herb and food. And it was so. That's a good verse for you, Andy, who, you know, has often said you like to eat. I do. I, I don't do enough of the herbs, though, I don't think. Mm. But we saw a lot of there, the, the healthy organic, perhaps, going all the way back to the garden there. Well, we're going to start our flashback of Faith and Friends Through the Eyes of Our Kitchen, sponsored by Lost Creek Care Center. Guess get out your recipe cards, get ready, let's start cooking. With Memorial Day coming in just a few weeks, we're offering you a simple yet patriotic idea that you can serve to family and friends. Today's Lost Creek Care Center food segment involves just three simple ingredients. They're Andy's favorites. I really like these three <laughs> ingredients. Maybe a little whipped cream would spice it up. but This is exactly. very simple. What we're doing is we've got three fruits. Can you guys identify those? A guava, <laughs> pear, and squash. Blackberries? Close, very close. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like strawberries, you know, kind of looks like a guava. Strawberry, that's right. Two types of berries? Blueberries, okay. which I guess blackberries, that was kind of close. He's just not. In New Jersey, they do their colors different. <laughs> yeah. And then there's <laughs> banana there on the end. And so what we're going to do, if you guys haven't identified it by now, these are our patriotic colors, red, white, and blue. How about that? Yeah. We live in America. And so <laughs> what we're going to do is we have some skewers here, and we are actually going to make some kebabs, fruit kebabs, and then we're going to shape them in the shape of an American we're gonna flag. Oh, well, we're not going to shape lay, the kebabs. No, we're going to lay them down and create an American flag out of that. So we got it started here. You will need these kebabs. Yes, we do have it started just so you can start to get an idea. And what we have... We're missing the Midwest. We have our, of course, red and white stripes that are Thank going you. on, and then this will be our blue up here. And so we'll make a few more kebabs and see where we land. You want to start with red, Andy. <laughs> oh. Yes. So we should remind you that Thank there you. are 13 stripes total. Representing what, Zach? <laughs> Representing the 13 colonies. Can you name them? Seven red, six white is what we're shooting for. So yeah, you'll want to start with the strawberries. We need Mark for some history on this. Yeah, he would He'd be probably, great for Mark, this. Yeah, he oh, would. Lost strawberry. He's probably made many fruit kebab flags in his day. <laughs> so. I think that's a safe assumption. <laughs> I might help you out here. Does it matter if I do the strawberry up or down? No. And you know, this is really a chance for you to be creative. Maybe you have kids <laughs> at home and you just want to do a fun project and teach them, remind them about the uh, flag. That's a good idea. You know, this is a great way to do it. And of course, you get to eat it in the end. And it's also healthy. You were saying that you like fruit, Andy. I do like fruit. Yeah. Smoothies and... Or you can eat it as you go. Anything. That's what I've been By doing. itself. Blueberries are the best, though. That's my favorite berry. I like rasp, blue, straw, <laughs> black. I'm going to put some blueberries on here and create the blue... You get the good part, huh? ...part. Yes, blueberries are... I thought you gone two red in a row there, Matt. No, You're, no, there's was, a little banana got, in there. You do have two white stripes in a row. I got two bananas in a row. Oh, there are two bananas. Yeah. <laughs> if the bananas are slippery, they're A little bit hard. confused. I'm not trying to touch every banana. So One that. snuck in there, huh? Yeah. Those bananas. And we did discover something earlier. Ah! Our bananas. Stab myself with trying so hard not to do that. Be careful. They're really sharp. They're sharp there at the I didn't top. expect that. Our bananas Two, that three, we're four, using five. actually weren't quite fully ripe yet, but we discovered that actually makes it a little bit easier if you can stomach not ripe bananas because they go on the, the skewer that much better. They're not as sloppy as you might. It's kind of hard to get 13 layers on this. Thing. It is. These are. Yeah, I have So that's another tip efficient. for you. The longer One, the skewer is, the better four, because five, these six. are a bit short and so. Get two Let's more see. here. How did I do? It looks mm, looks good. Seven. So you can lay it down no, there. That's only six. Oh. Six red? But that's all I got. I mean, okay. we're out of room. That that is the case we have right now. We have short skewers, and so we may not get the full strike. I got them all in there. But we'll try <laughs> yeah, to. Good job, Andy. I squished that it. looks like a true kebab. And so right if you put a few more uh, banana and red on there, we can finish out our flag and we'll show the viewer. Don't <laughs> eat food that hits the floor, <laughs> kids. Banana down. Dangerous. Salmonella. Salmonella. How many more? Uh, one yeah, more banana one more. and one more strawberry, and we yeah. will call it complete. This is not going to be a... Uh, Are we going to get 50 blueberries in there? No. Oh. And so we'd like to see pictures of yours at home if you do this. 
Okay, so we'll raise this up just a little bit. That's this is going to be raise the flag. Very, very rough. You salute. You can see the blue up in the top left and our red and white stripes there celebrating Memorial Day. And we do want to take a moment and say thank you to all of those of you out there with either fi family members mm. or just if those of you have served in our armed forces now or in the past, we say thank you to you and God bless to you as we are all very grateful here at TV44. Today we are making sunshine cupcakes. Grace and I already, already made the cupcakes at home and today we are going to decorate them. Here are the ingredients. One lemon cake mix, some vanilla frosting that has been dyed yellow, candy corn, pull and peel twizzers, and some mini chocolate chips. So now guys, if you want to take a cupcake, we'll do the first step. So here, I'll get one for you there. And so now take some of the candy corn and now you just put them around the surface like this. See how it makes the sunshine look? Ooh, wait, like that. Why aren't we hiring this on TV? It is on TV. Then why can't we see ourselves? Because that would be too hard. Where is that cupcake that I can make? Yeah, how so would grab it, one. How would it be too hard? Just because we look at the TV too much. There. But we can see what we were doing from the TV, can't we? Mm -hmm. I just want to eat the candy corn. Well, you can eat the candy corn when you're finished. But can you help candy. me put the rest on? Yeah, <laughs> those things are not easy. And I recommend having flat cupcakes because it's a little hard on an arched cupcake. Yes. Are you going to help me here? <laughs> Done. <laughs> you when you have cupcakes. <laughs> now what do we do? So now... We are going to take on my hand. one of these pull and peel tweezers, and we already had pulled them off, and just make it into a smiley face position like that, if you can see. And can you put that on there? Oh, really, Nathan? <laughs> there, we'll overlap them. Now put that on right there. <laughs> now, done. Now take some of your small chocolate chips and put the little pointy thing in so you make two eyes like How do you that. like it? Bam. Didn't we make a nose? Do I make another one? If you one? want to make a nose, you can. All right, oh. so. Ah, um, my candy fell out. So this is what the cupcakes are gonna look like when you're all finished with them. And I'm all finished. These are some of the things. And so now do you guys want to try them? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, to the end. After I take <laughs> half my wrapper. Nah. <laughs> Today we're making five minute no bake peanut butter granola bars. We're missing Zach this week. He's actually directing this portion of the show, but he's already tried them. He's already told me they're really good and given me all his little tips to success so that we can make sure that Andy and Mark are all ready to go. I'm ready. Is it really just five minutes? Well, you know, we've got like. The segment will go 10. The segment <laughs> is supposed to be six minutes. So I guess we're going to. Uh, to, to test it out and see. We better hurry. Okay. Does this count as the part of the five minutes? Well, when point. does the start of the five minute no bake cookie segment okay. begin? You at home, <laughs> you at home, start your watch right now and then you get back to us and let us know how long it actually took. Great thing about this is it doesn't even have very many ingredients. Five, right? Uh, more like eight ingredients. I so to get things going, I'm going to give you the wet portion. Okay. You need to come up with half a cup, it's supposed to be half a cup of brown rice syrup. I couldn't find that at the regular store, so we're using honey. Mm. Is that from a local apiary? Well, this particular one is from, from Michigan. Which bowl am I going? I which bowl? I would definitely prefer to go Born. local if possible. And then you're going to do a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter. We're actually kind of doing this backwards. That's step two. I'm letting oh, you do step I'm two sorry. first. You get to do the dry ingredients, Mark. One and three quarters cup rolled oats. So sorry I gave you a fourth cup. You're going to have to put, you know how many fourth cups you'll need? Well, if I need one and a third cups, I'll need four fourth cups and about uh, two thirds of a fourth. Fun with fractions. Such, uh, such, you know, this, this guy is more than sports, I tell you. How many peanut butter cups? How many peanut, one third cup creamy peanut butter. Mm. Now realize when you're doing this at home, you, you, you're actually going to be doing the dry part first and then you're going to be doing the wet part second Close and mixing enough. it together. Okay, Mark, next, you need one cup of the crispy brown rice cereal. 
Now that is cocoa, so it's kind of making a little more sugary. If you want to make sure it's not quite so sugary, then you use something like crisp rice. You I said a, a full cup? A full cup. Yep, a full cup. Close enough. <laughs> All right, next we have uh, one, quarter cup, one fourth cup pumpkin seeds. And one green cup pumpkin seeds? Sunflower seeds. I've never seeds. seen those. They must be organic. That's what the pumpkin seeds Quarter cup look of like. each. Quarter know, that's cup what of they each. Look like. That's what they look like. Oh, Close enough. Wow. I've, I've hey, opened up Mark, a pumpkin Mark, why don't you hand, hand me those old fashioned oats? Thank you. It's not a Quaker on those, though. It is I'm not. Confused. These, these are from Meyer, our friends at Meyer, whom we love. Are there new day. fashioned oats? State of the art. I quarter cup of the uh, sunflower quarter seeds. Quarter cup of the sunflower seeds. Mm, and then Mark's Close favorite enough. ingredient, chia seeds. Eighth of a cup of chia seeds. Is now, this going to grow green moss on it? Calls then? for a quarter cup. We're just doing an eighth of cup, partially because I like chia seeds and I don't want to give all of them to you and I want to save some for later. Is that part of a chia pet? Close enough. What's a chia uh, no, 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 no. You missed that. Oh, okay, stop. Oh. oh my goodness. It's like now, pepper. When you, that was a lot less than an eighth of a cup. When you try this at home, don't forget that we have specific actual measurements that you can use. You need some vanilla. Oh, okay. eyeball it. Okay, now mix up your things. I did. Mix some more. Did, Tech, actually, are these like sprinkles? So Andy has the wet part here. Right. And it's recommended to put that in a microwave to make it a little bit easier for mixing. When I was working on this at home, we actually don't have a microwave in our house, so I just did it over the stove. You don't believe in microwaves? We, oh, well, that's a whole other topic. Well, aren't we you hardy For a long time. But anyway, <laughs> we did it on the stove. Now, can you add raisins to this? I, if you really <laughs> want to make them, well, my husband likes raisins, so I won't say What's wrong with raisins? I don't understand why people don't like raisins. I don't like raisins. We are going to do Do you like beef jerky? I always think it's, it's okay. important to try the recipe first. There's no first fundamental difference between raisin and beef jerky. <laughs> Guys, we have five minutes. Fruit and meat. Oh, we've already hit the five minute mark. <sighs> so the, the next thing of a chia is. Seed? To they grow have no chias. flavor. Mix this together. I think it's together. a con conspiracy now, brought on by the point, floss industry. At this point, you need to need to use a little bit of muscle. That's why I have my muscle men here to help mix this together and put it all together. Now, here you go. Mix it up so it's nice and consumed properly. Oh no. I already messed it up. Can you eat it raw? Or will well, I get salmonella? You know what, though? But here's the great <laughs> thing about it it's a no bake recipe, Andy. So as Mark is mixing it up. So it is it raw up, no matter what. Mark's mixing it up, and as soon as he's got it to the point, Mark, can you see why it might actually be good to microwave or stove top some of those uh, sticky the, ingredients? The wet ingredients, yeah, you, you just want to liquefy them a little bit more. Right, so that the mixing part moves along a little more quickly. Probably too much peanut butter on my spoon. I'm not in there. I, I think that's why he's having trouble, because part of... I was selfish. You were selfish. <laughs> okay, so he's got it all mixed up. Sort we're going to just put it into a shallow <laughs> pan. I'm using a oh, flat spatula to, to Is that a pie pan? flatten it off into um, off here. That's that's I don't know, it's a pampered chef all purpose do everything stoneware pan. Oh. So how many minutes did that take? Uh, we're about five and a half, six minutes. Well, we can't at this eat point. it yet, right? You can't well you you're eating it. That's true. How's it taste? Peanut butter's great. So here you go. Finished product, this is all it takes, just a few minutes. Put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes minimum. It can even be overnight. Voila! Da, 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 da. And I have to tell you, our crew has already tried it. That's why you so. can see that it's missing. Obviously, the consistency has changed. Things are a little bit different. I don't get to use the knife this week. Go ahead, guys. Take a try it's at got it. green stuff in it. It is kind of odd. Very good. It's like a homemade kind bar. Healthy, no bake, five minute peanut butter granola bars. We're gonna have the complete, correct measurements and recipe available for you on our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com. Um, not bad? Oh, like correct, it. does that mean we we're doing it incorrectly? I have to tell you, my children made this one. <laughs> my 10 and 11 year old daughters and made this one. And your other children one. made this one. These guys made this one. Well, today we are making Buckeyes. The only catch is that none of us have ever done this. And without Zach here to guide us along, who knows how things are going to go. Mark and Matt are here with me. And Matt, who I understand before this segment 
had never experienced a Buckeye before. Googled what is a Buckeye. Found out that it involves peanut butter and chocolate, which I really enjoy both of. So this, I think, is going to go well. And th really, we're doing this segment in honor of Mark, who is like our ultimate Buckeye here. <laughs> you brought a Buckeye, is that yeah, right? Yeah, well, well, I've got one in the office usually. So, But apparently, we don't use this in the recipe at all, so I shouldn't dump it into the butter. Uh, according to this recipe, it is not wise. I'm okay. not really In fact, Buckeyes are somewhat poisonous, so we really don't want to put that mm. in food. All right, that'd well, be the end of the food segments forever. <laughs> that, would be, yeah. that would be it. That's not really how we want, <laughs> want to change things. Okay, so we are going to, in the next few minutes, attempt to create Buckeyes. Now, many of you at home are probably laughing at us right now, going, you've never created, you've never made Buckeyes. It's so easy. Well, we will... Just ball up peanut butter and dip it in chocolate, right? Well, what do you think at home, folks? <laughs> What's your vote? Call, text, or tweet us and let us know if that's correct. I heard it's a little bit more complicated than that, especially with this melted butter, which I would love to just get some pancakes right now and drizzle the butter yeah. on it. They're perfect, then mm. melted butter. Well, we need that melted butter for an important reason. Mark and Matt are going to be our mixers, and we're going to start out with peanut butter, which, yes, you need peanut butter. Now, the recipe that we're going to show you on the screen that's is for so a, full, a full serving uh, 30 Buckeyes, but we have cut it in half just for the sake of television here. So we just put in three quarters a cup of peanut butter. If you're going to do a full thing, you're going to do one and a half cups at home. Next, we need that butter. The butter, it's very basic. Butter, vanilla extract. You're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon vanilla extract for what you're doing. For those of you at home, it's a half teaspoon. Remember, we're doing cutting it in half here. And then the uh, powdered sugar. All of that powdered sugar. All of that powdered sugar. Powdered sugar flies all over. Mix it up. Like oh yeah, don't forget, the, yeah. don't forget the vanilla. All right, this is where uh, we, we, we need to We forgot it. to bring our measuring spoons, so we're trusting yeah. that that looks pretty good. We also suggest that maybe you use like a larger spoon. Um, I told you, we, we don't have Zach, our food expert here today, so we are just, we're just, we're just trying winging things it. out. Yeah. That's right. We're just We're winging, winging it. it. Now, the recipe says that the, uh, the dough is going to look dry. It does look dry. It Absolutely. does look dry. But it looks pretty white. I still think that we might have some more mixing that needs to be done. Now, as soon as Mark is done mixing that, he and Matt are now going, are next going to start rolling those into little balls. We don't have a melon baller for that. No melon baller. It uses it's your hands. For this one. Here, uh, Matt rolls up the sleeves, and you'll need the toothpicks go. because you're going to put a toothpick on the top of each one, which is very important for the final step. We're going to take. Well, take a look at that. That is just the color Great job, is Mark. beautiful, Mark. I think Science. you have a. I think you have a future in Buckeye making. Okay, so then we just take a little bit and roll it up. All right. Go for it. So your thoughts so far, is this a difficult recipe? No. Is this an easy recipe? No, we didn't have to melt the butter. I'm not sure how, how well we'd be able to melt butter. <laughs> yeah, we chose to melt the butter. It does say in the recipe that you can just use softened butter if you want. Um, so as we roll those, we have been uh, melting some chocolate. Mine's We've yeah, got melted <laughs> chocolate here, which is going to be the next step coming up, using a double boiler, which makes it much easier to melt chocolate. Now, guys, don't forget to put the toothpicks on top. Oh, that's right. You distracted us when we messed up already. Also remember that Buckeyes are round. Yeah, I, I just said mine's square. I don't, I don't know why I went for a square one, but... That's an offensive lineman Buckeye right there. <laughs> that's a big one. Having trouble getting mine to stick. Are you having that issue? Not really. Mm -hmm. um, just using the old uh, roll it between two You hands. know, I, I, are you doing the New Jersey Buckeye? <laughs> Is so, that yeah. the issue here? I think they know I'm not from Ohio. <laughs> just like making snowballs out of yeah. dough. Well, I grew up in Iowa, better. so I also had never heard of Buckeyes until I moved here. And um, now that I've lived here, I can't believe that there are people who've never heard of Buckeyes. Well. Okay, how are you guys doing? Great, I think. We got plenty you simply of continue this process until you are finished with all of your dough, and then you need to place the Buckeyes into the freezer for at least 30 minutes. You want them to get firm because then you have the next step, which involves dipping them now, in chocolate. Is, is that too big? It depends it's like on, a double Buckeye. You know, it depends <laughs> on your tastes. How, how hungry for a Buckeye are you? So here we have basic melted semi-sweet chocolate chips. Very, very simple.
Guys, you're doing a wonderful job, but I'm gonna take this away from you because we actually have some pre-made Buckeyes right here that we've already taken. We've taken them out of the freezer. Thank you to my daughters, Grace and Abby, who did this ahead of time. And now these are ready for the final step. Dipping the in the final chocolate. Final dipping in the chocolate. Dipping in the chocolate. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I think so. Here's some wax paper that you can set your completed Buckeyes on when you're finished. Once again, very simple. I hope we're doing this correct. Oh no, I failed <laughs> on the first one. Here we go. Yeah, I think maybe if we had a, a deeper bowl might help. Oh, look at that though. That's perfect. Mm. Wow, nicely done, Mark. So you want to then put these in the refrigerator, which is going to allow them to set again, uh, so that when you're ready to eat them, they're solid. Yeah, I think if, if we had a little bit of a deeper bowl, we'd be able to get more of the chocolate around the entire Buckeye. But you're getting, you're certainly getting the idea here. Okay, I think I need to try one of these, even though I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator. See how the handiwork went. How is it? Mmm. Can't get Very this good. Oh, there we go. Well, as we promised you earlier today, Dan Gallagher is a guest host with us today on Faith and Friends, and he is joining Andy and me for today's Lost Creek Care and Rehabilitation Center sponsored food segment. Thanks for being with us, Dan. Thanks. This is fun. All right. But well, we're starting with healthy snacks. You don't know huh? yet what I'm going to ask you Can to I do. I get the big knife. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Today we're making fruit and veggie snails. Fruit and veggie what? snails. What do you guys think? Escargot. Escargot That's with an snails, apple. Right? A carrot and I'm very high here, 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 okay. here's big a word there. <laughs> here's you a spell that. Hey, look at Wait, this. Wait, we got to do that. Hey, this oh is what gosh. you're going to make. Well, we're making it more healthy. We're using raisins. Oh, nice. Colored. Carrots and raisins and apples. Oh, that's really great, right? kids. Yeah, that's wonderful. All right. And peanut butter. Just bloat it up with peanut there butter. There we go. Now we're good. Now. Okay, <laughs> we're going to get it started right away, and I'm going to give each of you guys a task. Oh, so, okay, Andy, good. you have the task of making the snail's hump. These scissors? Andy, we'll worry Andy. about whoa, that whoa. later. Are we on TV? Are yes. we done? Okay, I'm going to hand you this apple. Now, I would like you Just to like slice. a woman to hand a man an apple. <laughs> oh. Don't take it. Don't eat it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I hey, doing? No, wait a second. I'll give you your directions, and I'm going to give Dan some directions, so you both can be working at the same time. We're multitasking. We're working oh, together. Like Together? Tag team? This is intended to be something that you can get the kids, oh, the you can get the items nice out. <laughs> your kids are finished with school, and then together you guys can do this. So today these are my kids. These are, yes. That's appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> so for the apple, Andy, you saw how in that picture it was a really skinny. I wasn't really paying attention. Skinny background well okay. here's the thing so you slice. want to cut an entire slice but you want to make it Off just the past the core because you don't want there to be a hole in the middle I've Wait got several minute. apples so you can try that out right do we have band-aids available oh, anywhere okay. first wait, wait, wait. aid kit you you can work on that in a moment oh, I'm not here's to your start? task what am I task are your raising? task <laughs> is you need to fill some, put some peanut butter into this bag. All right. Because we're going to use Without this. Without a spoon. You have to use your fingers. No. I still, no, we got a spoon, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I can do that. Okay, so those are the first two steps. Apples being cut, peanut butter is going into the bag. You don't need many ingredients for this. You just need a small crisp apple. Smaller is better than large because otherwise your, your snail house might fall over. So what do you think? Is that okay. good? Is but that now we thin? now But now we need a, a second section like you we need it to be thin how much like peanut this. butter do you want Lots so of peanut half butter. of this we're going to use that peanut butter to fill the celery and to decorate the side how's okay. that okay that looks good all yeah. right can i eat the other part sure i'll take this all right the next thing you need to do is you need to cut a piece of celery that's going right. to be just a little bit larger so andy, your knife? Sure can. andy hold up your your snail house and use it like this you're supposed to measure <laughs> You're supposed oh. to measure, but if you don't measure, Not that's really sure okay. What we're measuring. Measure twice. So that goes in there like once. that, right? Okay, but but we don't need it quite that big. All right. Let's go for the yeah. How about that one? There we go. All right. Now I have a very intri integral intricate. In yes. Intricate. Thank you. You're thing welcome. that you need to do. You need to turn over that celery like this, and try to take your knife and shave off the end a little bit so it will sit flat. Oh, I got you there. Okay. While you're doing that, I want you. To Julienne, 
cut some of some of these what does that mean? carrots. We've julienne. done julienne before. Julienne I, is, I a type, is a type is a type of like cutting. Of? Hey, very very nice job, Dan. Look at that. That is very well done. Excellent. <laughs> am, am I doing this right or not? Yeah. If I was that tall, I'd have nosebleeds. <laughs> You know, that's up I there. Did have I did mean, have nosebleeds for quite there. some time. It's like <laughs> I never connected. Yeah, my brother is that tall, and he did too. Okay, oh. next step. Next step. Is that Julianne? Okay, that's great. I don't think it is. Romeo and Julianne. That is the worst slice I've ever seen in my life. I'm not sure what I'm I going don't for. <laughs> All right, Dan. Can I just eat yes. an apple? <laughs> Take the kitchen shears, clip the bottom of the peanut butter. What are we doing? You are trusting. No, I'm going to hand it to you so you can just be right. So you're going to like frost the... Then you are the, going uh... to fill this with peanut butter. Oh, I got you now. I'm really starting to get this. Ants on a log. That's what we used to I'm going to take it. this home and do this with my grandchild, Charlie. Ah. Now right. you want it. Now, now is the decorating part. You need to decorate the side of the snail oh. with, with the peanut butter. I'll let either one of you decide who gets to do you that. You can do it. You're the artist. I got the I got the peanut butter already. I'm still I'm feeling it. I think I made my hole too big, but it's okay. I'm shaking. But you know what? In the end, it's all about eating the food. Eating the food. Eating the food. That is a eating big question mark. I think. Okay, so now you want to carefully Am I a snail? carefully <laughs> position that in the celery. Oh. Why don't you that turn it carefully. around so the people at home can yeah, see the can other see side? Now remember making a Thin slice of apple is a key for it to not fall over. So my apple was not thin enough. And pretty thick. Making a small slice of oh, it's standing. It's standing. Yes. Okay, now we need some eyes. That now, looks like a snail. There are lots of recipes online that talk about using like nerds and little Nert. pieces Did of you candy. Say nerds. Nerds. You heard of nerds? Never nerds. heard of nerds. You've heard of nerds. Well, there's nerds too. Well, there's a little bit of everything. What is a nerd? That'll raisins. be for another segment. We're going to use raisins. Nerds are raisins. So right. we need to You do the raisins because, does anybody have a napkin? We just need two. We don't do napkins right two, <laughs> two. We only need two. Just, just go ahead and go? do the eyes. Uh, on just the for back, the eyes. But if you knock it over, the pressure. I know. That's, that's what I'm worried about. Just for the eyes. Where do the eyes, eyes go? Like there? Two eyes. And now we need an okay. antenna. So that's what you're going to use your carrots for. You need to take some slices of carrots. I didn't leave room for an antenna. To make your antenna. Oh, slices of carrots. See what? I see a couple in there. See, I thought I was Julianne. Just one and here more. I just needed to slice. Just one more. I think we're doing. Ah! It. I think it's the best snack snail ever made. There it is. There huh? it is. That is the best snack snail ever made. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed that. What was your favorite recipe? What would you like mm. to see us cook here on Faith and Cream Fest? puffs. I want to do cream puffs. Do you think we can do cream puffs in seven minutes' time? I don't know. That's your job. <laughs> I just eat them. <laughs> well, email us at faithandfriends.w, faithandfriends at wtlw.com. Tell us what you'd like to see us cook, bake. But yes, we do have to do it in about seven minutes, so that's the uh, parameters that we have to keep. In mind. There could be stages. Stages of cooking. We pre-cooked the sausage, and now it's ready to go into the omelet. Sausage and cream puffs? I've moved on to <laughs> less healthy <laughs> alternatives. <laughs> Oh, before we go, <laughs> let's move on to something that's always a healthy alternative. One final look at our scripture verse, Andy. Genesis chapter 1, verses 29 and 30. And God said, See, I've given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it shall be for food, and to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. And God is saying, it is so in your life today. Whatever your need is, whatever uh, you're struggling with right now, he can provide help. He can provide comfort. He can provide peace. And he will get you through that. It is so. It is that simple for our God to meet your needs.